Welcome once again to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily from Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to be talking about swollen stomach in catfish farm. So what do you think that causes swollen stomach in catfish farm? So I'm going to be explaining it. We have many types of swollen stomach. But the one we are talking about today is the one you are going to learn about very soon. Now remember this is Let Us Farm page. We don't really have anything we want to sell to you. We are not asking you to pay any money for anything. But if you are having a problem in your farm, all you simply need to do is do a 2-3 to three minutes video of this problem. Do it mainly when you are feeding. It gives me an overview of what's happening in your farm. Send this video to me. When I look at this video, I'll be able to tell you exactly what is the problem and solution to this your fishes. And these services are absolutely free. Make sure you watch this video to the end. If you've not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. And then anytime, anytime we drop any video, if you have any question, drop it. I'll be able to answer and help you out of any situation. Remember, these services are free. I'll be right back to discuss this. Welcome back. So like I said at the beginning, we have many types of swollen stomach. There is uh, a swollen stomach that you notice before you feed your catfishes. That is the one we are talking about. So anytime before you feed your catfishes, let me give you an example. Probably you fed your fishes at night. Let's say you fed the fishes around 4 p.m. and or 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. evening feeding. Then tomorrow morning when you now want to feed your fishes, you now all of a sudden you notice that one or two or three of your fishes are is having swollen stomach well that is the one we're talking about so now like i said please try and listen very attentively to this ask me any question you don't understand at the end of this so that i can actually explain it and you will understand better so what is the root cause of this swollen stomach another name for this um, swollen stomach is gill rot Either you call it swollen stomach or you call it gill rot. Why it's called the gill rot is that the gill is inside. That is what is getting rotten and is giving birth to the swollen stomach. Get it? So now, to, before we confuse ourselves the more, so let's dive into this. So what actually causes the swollen stomach in catfish? I will prefer to stick to the name swollen stomach than gill rot so that, you know, you understand exactly what we are talking about. So... What actually causes swollen stomach in catfish farm? Now, swollen stomach in catfish farm is as a result of infection. And this infection most of the times is caused by bacteria. So what happens is that when your pond is overstocked, you know, like I always say, you have ammonia, high ammonia concentration in the pond when it's overstocked because all the catfishes will be releasing their waste in the same water they are taking. So when this thing, as they are taking it, now it blocks the respiratory system of the catfish, meaning that the catfish cannot functionally have breathe in and breathe out because of the high ammonia concentration that it has inhaled. Now this would affect part of its breathing system, the gill bladder. So when this is affected, it makes it, like it cuts off the breathing passage in the catfish and that's why you now see that when it cuts off you know something that is supposed to be going up and down and all of a sudden it now goes up to come down it's a problem so you now have a very narrow channel of breathing this is as a result of the bacteria infection in the gills now when this happens the catfish starts struggling to breathe Sometimes you look at the catfish, it's like they open their mouth, struggling to breathe. Remember, the opening of the mouth is not always like this. Sometimes when you see catfishes opening mouth to breathe, they are struggling to breathe. It's as a result of the low oxygen concentration in the pond. 
that one is also different from what we are saying but whenever you see your catfish's opening mouth is suggesting distress now this can actually lead to this gill infection because as at the time you see them trying to like gasp for air opening their mouth they're already having problem of uh breathing if the gill bladder is already infected you now see the swollen part of the fish just like the pictures the video you just saw now so it starts to swell up because it's no longer breathing in and out the way it's supposed to be this infection can actually kill the fish the fishes sometimes when you see them they try to look for where water is rushing into the pond to go and stay there all this is they are trying to do is they are trying to see a way to allow the breathing to happen just like when someone is suffocating you are trying to be able to get you are choking you are trying to breathe but in this system it's already a bad situation because the gill is already rotten as a result of the infected this thing they've taken down the system now one of the simple ways you use in stopping this incident is that please don't overstock your pond there are so many disadvantages of overstocking your pond don't overstock your pond so when you don't overstock your pond you have actually tactically reduced any incidence of high ammonia concentration that could lead to infection of the fishes in that same pond simply because you have done the right thing you are supposed to do at the right time so once this situation is established you are at least almost okay with this situation so don't overstock your pond always make sure that you change the water in your pond regularly as at when due please don't change the water in your pond every day because i said regularly regularly means you are changing what you are supposed to do like if you're on surface pond surface pond i mean here is tapolin concrete pond rubber tanks and all those things change your water at least every two days so that the issue of having this water contamination will not happen and your fishes will be very happy and okay in the pond so when you do this your fishes are okay you, you run away from that incidence of having an infection of their gill now for a situation that it has happened what do you do to mitigate this problem first thing first is remove those ones that are already infected put them in a different pond change the water of the ones that are not affected if they are overstocked reduce the number of stocking if you don't do this reduction of the number of stocking more and more will still be having that issue because as at the time you are seeing one there are some others there that are still struggling to breathe but they haven't had any infection in their system so they are still struggling to breathe but once the infection is down on them it's down on them so when you remove that one to avoid any cross infection on others the next thing you do is change the water for this other one and make sure you keep changing the water as at when do reduce your stocking density in that particular pond then for that one that is affected you look for what you call fish biotics is an antibiotics and use it to soak that fish for three to five days the issue is that at this point survival rate is very minimal once you see the fish that the stomach is swollen sometimes you see something like a red color on the swollen uh, fish survival rate is very minimal i won't you know give you high hopes but now what we are trying to do is to do a preventive measure for it to af not affect others so you change the water of all the fishes don't waste money buying drugs and all this stuff it, it will not do anything but you know, for the um the people that are so curious they want to buy drugs and see if that one fish that is affected may survive get the fish biotics and try to treat it but like i said survival rate is really very minimal minimal may or may never survive it because it's already an infection inside it's not like it's an outside infection then make sure that the ones that are not infected you keep on changing their water as a twin due to keep on making sure that they are okay so with that those ones will be normal and you will be happy at the end of the day now if i have said something that probably you don't really understand very well kindly use the comment section and is there any topic you want me to discuss also use the comment section till i come your way next time my name is emily for Ogre of let us Farm. Keep farming. See what.